Hi guys, so today I am going to talk to you just a little bit more about what I'm learning in regards to moisture versus um, protein in your hair. So what I've done is I've taken a f about five strands of my hair, I just kind of brushed through it lightly with my fingers and it's all fluffed out. Don't hate me for fluffing out my hair, I like big hair. <laughs> but um, I just have about five here, you can probably see. And I'm going to do a wet stretch test on this. So I've gotten the hairs wet already and I've aligned them um, from root to tip. Um, and from what I understand, the elasticity at your root can be more or less than it is at the middle section or at the tip. So I guess you can test the same strands of hair but in different places. So that way it gives you an idea of if um, you know your natural hair or new hair is healthier, maybe the older hair is being exposed to something that's causing it to um, have a problem or not. So um, with dry fingers here so that the hair doesn't slip, I'm going to try and stretch this and see what happens. Now usually I just do one strand at a time, um, but from what I'm seeing online you can do it both ways. So I'm trying to get a good grip on this and see what happens. And I am getting some stretch there. Just a little bit of recoiling, which I don't know that it's supposed to actually get kinky or frizzy. It's just supposed to shrink back. I think the reason why some of them are sticking up is because I have several strands here. But if I just look at it like that, it, it doesn't look too bad. So maybe this hair is okay. It's got a little bit of a stretch to it and then a little bit of uh, spring back. You can stretch it pretty far. So, but I'm getting just a little bit, I don't know if you guys can see, right here. I'm getting a little bit of some of the hairs that are actually getting kind of kinky. So from what I'm learning is that um, the hair should return back to its normal form, but if it returns back in a really corkscrew kind of zigzaggy way, then it means it's not quite balanced. Interestingly though, this, this seems to be doing pretty good. I mean, I don't know that it's springing back all the way. I didn't measure it. Let's wet it one more time and see. But I just wanted to show you what's happening here. But see, it's, it's lost some of its shape and it's just a little bit more kinky here. I don't know, I think, I think I'm kind of at the, yeah, it's, it, it's almost curlier now than it was. But see, that's not, oh, look at it. Oh, no. Right before your eyes. Look at it. Oh, that's horrible. <gasps> wow. So, it's not happy. Oh, look. That's jack crap. <laughs> Uh, I think I should cry. What? Okay, ew, and it feels so coarse and gross. And I'll tell you, I'm starting to get some of those really kinky hairs in my head, and I'm starting to get some of them feeling a little bit more coarse and stuff. And I'm getting a little bit more frizz than I used to, so I wonder if that has anything to do with it. I mean, I don't go around stretching all the hairs on my head, but maybe that's what's actually happening. So... From what I learned today, if your hair um, shrinks back down into these kinky, kinky little um, squiggles like that, then it means that I need to start using more protein. But, I, you know, it's like every three to five days my hair improves and it does, you know, it's doing better. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it's wonderful, it's wonderful. And then I'll post, you know, on my Instagram or on my Facebook page about how much better it's doing. 
and I'm so excited and I think it's wonderful and everything and I didn't suspect that I would go no protein like the rest of my life or anything and I don't know for sure whether or not I'm protein sensitive all I know is that my hair was snapping and it's not snapping anymore so I've gotten that improvement down um, the other thing is is that I've got it to get to where it was elastic and it would shrink back and it was really nice but now I've finally gotten to the point where I think it's gone too far so um, it's time for me to start um, incorporating some protein in my hair but I'm nervous and as you know if you've been kind of following my journey with this no protein stuff um, there were two times in the last few two and a half weeks that I used um, one product, two different products, one time each, and in those products they had one ingredient that was protein. And my hair started snapping again, you know, within the same day after I used it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it completely reverted. And so I may be protein sensitive, but nonetheless, my hair still needs protein. I don't really know if that's how it works or not. I'm learning this along with you guys. So I hope you guys know, I mean, I'm not like a, a genius on this whole thing, and I've not researched it forever. So I'm new at this too, and all I know is my hair is starting to change, and I want to make sure it stays healthy, so we're learning this together. So what I'm going to do instead of using an actual protein is I'm going to use kind of like a mock protein, and that is coconut oil. So I'm going to do a light hair mask of coconut oil instead of my normal olive oil that I've been using. And then I'll do my normal wash and restyle. And after my hair um, is dry and everything, I'll do another wet stretch test. And I'll actually come back and show you those results on this same video. Might as well put it all in one for you because you're dying to know, right? Okay, so I'll be back. Okay, so I washed my hair last night and I got it all styled and I just wanted to show you what it looked like before I did the final test on my hair strands. Um, I'm actually not as pleased with my hair as I have been lately. Um, I think you can tell that it shrunk up more than normal, which is not a bad thing, but I still have a lot of frizz. I feel like some of it is a little like messy it's not as ringlety um, I think it tried to kink up a little bit more but I'm concerned because I found a few razzly pieces of hair on my head um, you can't see them now but um, there's a couple in there that I found that were like you know zigzaggy and I'm like what the heck so uh, my hair feels soft and it curled fine but I've been having problems with frizz uh, just really having to smooth and smooth and put more product on when I get out of the shower and it just I don't know for sure where all the frizz is coming from so anyway I wanted to just kind of give you an idea of what my hair looks like I did not turn it upside down um, I didn't wrestle it upside down or anything, but I, I did get a good shape and all, but, um, I missed the really fluffy, big, fat curls that I was getting. So, we'll see. But, um, on to the final test. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to show you is the individual strands that I started to do the wet stretch on. Um, I wasn't happy with the results I got on them at all. And this is exactly how I normally would have done the test. Take one hair that is wet, stretch it, and release and see what happens. Well, as you can see, this one is very frazzled. Hopefully you can see that. I mean, that's not my normal curl pattern. Look at all those kinks in there. Okay, let me show you another one. I did it on another one and this one got all, look at it, it's like going all crazy. Um, and then another one and it broke. 
And I was like, what? It's not supposed to break. And then it got all crazy after it broke. Look at that. So I'm not really sure what's going on with my hair at this point. I was very, very happy with it just a couple days ago, and I felt like it was perfect. But the other thing is, is it doesn't look like the coconut oil seemed to help at all, maybe even made it worse. So now I'm going to go ahead and wet a few strands. I saved the hairs that came out at my shower um, after I you know, did the treatment on my hair. So I'm going to just pull out about five strands of this little nest here. And I'm going to get these wet. So these are just the hairs that came out of my head naturally when I was washing my hair. And I saved them so that I could do this test. I think it's okay to do it that way. So, anyway, these have been saturated now with water. Dry my fingers here so I can get a better grip. And let's see what happens. It looks nice and curly now. It doesn't really want to stay together. The water wasn't even helping it clump together. It's still kind of coming apart there. Alright, I'm a little nervous. Let's see what happens. Stretches. A little bit of comeback. I'm pulling my hands in to see. A little bit of frazzling. See? And, and that's what it was doing yesterday when I tested it. And I thought, oh, it's on the verge of needing some protein. It's maybe not the end of the world because it didn't frazzle that bad. But after I did it several times to the same hair strand, then it went more crazy. That's when we got that really crazy result. But as you can see, it's still not going back to the same curl pattern. It just, it's not really that happy. So, one more time. I should be able to sit here and just play with it like a rubber band. And every time I do it, it starts getting kinkier and kinkier. Look at that. And then as it starts to dry, it goes crazy. Ugh. Oh, that is so messed up. So the protein that I put, well, the mock protein that I put on it yesterday from the coconut oil didn't help at all. And, um... Now, my options are to try using an actual protein. I'll probably use my Eco Gel because it has hydrolyzed wheat or something in it. Um, and if my hair doesn't just start snapping after I use that, um, then I'm going to, you know, and if it doesn't give me the results that I want, I'm going to try Olaplex 3. So we'll just keep trying this out. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, you can see how frizzy my hair is. It's ridiculous. So I'm, I'm not real happy with it. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And remember to share my video with your friends, um, any of my videos, obviously. And I love comments, so please comment below if you have any questions or any tips for me. Because I'm learning, too. So talk to you later. Bye.